Capricorn, welcome to your singles reading. Who's coming towards you for the month of December? This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy, this will be up after Thanksgiving. So happy December. Uh, happy early Christmas, I guess, here. So this is intended for whenever you see this, tell whenever. So we're going to see what comes out here, who may be coming towards you. You have to be single somewhat. I mean, you can be dating somebody or um, just not committed in some way. So we could get the energies of somebody you already know or somebody totally new. If it resonates with you, with somebody you already know, but you're not in a relationship or exclusively dating or committed, then it could be your reading or it could be... Like I said, somebody totally new. So only take what resonates for you. All right, so we're going to look at a couple signs. We're going to pull a couple signs here. And then we're going to look at who this person may be, what their energy may be like. We're going to look at what time of year you could possibly meet this person. And also um, where and when, um, how you may meet them. Okay, so we have Pisces. And we have Jupiter, which is Sagittarius. So we have Pisces and Sagittarius here. So a couple signs. Water sign. Sagittarius is fire. And Jupiter is all about uh, luck, expansion, faith, hope, optimism, spirituality, joy, prosperity. So that kind of energy. So that's kind of a good energy. So we'll see what we get here. All right, Capricorn singles. I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they're dated. So if you'd like to check out my channel, please feel free to do that. Okay, Capricorn singles, Capricorn singles. Let's see here, Capricorn singles. Oh, I guess that's it right here. What is the energy of this person coming into you? Oh, we have somebody here uh, falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiving, forgiveness in the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. So this is someone who uh, works well with other people, who is a loving, compassionate, caring, nurturing, giving kind of person. Uh, they may be emotional, sensitive. They could be intuitive also. And they're not, not afraid to work out problems, work together, uh, come together with people. Um, I, th I feel like they really um, appreciate the people around them, the um, their family, their friends, the bonds, the ties they have with people, um, and that kind of energy. They really treasure and value all their relationships of any kind. So it's kind of a good energy there. All right. So let's see. And I just got the message too. This must maybe somebody who falls in love quickly. Because <laughs> the two of summer there is about um, people coming together, unity, a soulmate union. So this could be somebody who falls in love very, very easily also. And that is water energy. So... Um, Pisces is water. So that is their energy. So let's see what uh, time of year. So we actually have here, um, let's see. This is unity. So this is the Hierophant energy. So I don't want to say the sign because we have the signs already here. I'm just trying to think of the season. Um so it is the end of April into May is when you could possibly meet this person. So I would say springtime, um, definitely middle of spring, probably. I would say the middle of spring or it could be any time during spring, but I'm getting like the middle. It definitely could be in May because we do have five here. So... And I had uh, said end of April into May. So it definitely could be in May, the month of May. Okay. So let's see. And, you know, the Hierophant here is all about <laughs> commitment, marriage, and that kind of energy. This person, I think, 
falls in love very quickly, may want to commit very quickly. Oh boy, so let's see. <laughs> Depends what kind of relationship you're looking for, Capricorn, if you're looking for something serious or something light and fun. All right, so let's see um, where you may meet this person. So I, I feel outside somewhere, walking on a trail. Uh, you could just be walking in the park, walking around your neighborhood on a sidewalk here. This definitely is a path, so it could be a trail, a sidewalk um, in the park or something like that. I feel like you're going to be doing something outside. Definitely spring energy here. So definitely something outside in a spring activity. Um, you could be on a bike trail, bicycle trail, a walking trail, uh, just walking around your neighborhood um, kind of energy. Hmm. All right, so there could be somebody new that moves into the neighborhood too. Um, could be like a couple streets over. Maybe you didn't even know somebody new was in the neighborhood and they could, you could be out walking and they could be out in their yard and you're like, Ooh, you know, who, who, who's that? You know, <laughs> and you know, this reading can be male or female. Doesn't matter here. All right. So let's see. That's kind of like the where. So let's see how you may like start talking to this person or run into them. So <laughs> you could be swinging on a swing. You definitely could be in the park, you know, and if you're an adult who's a child at heart like me who loves to swing on a swing, slide on a slide, I don't care. I'm going to go do it. So you could be, you know, in the park walking around and there's a swing set and you're like, you know what? I'm just going to go swing on this swing and maybe they come over and give you a push <laughs> or something, you know. Sounds silly, but hey, I love to swing on swings. Who doesn't? So I feel like, yeah, I definitely feel like here's something in the park could be do, doing something just something fun in the park and they're there also and that's how you kind of run into them. They may want maybe watching you, you know, having a good time in the park and they may just come over and start talking to you. Wow. Okay. So if you go to the park a lot or something like that, pay attention to the people around you. And I'm also getting, uh, well, this is springtime, so you wouldn't be swimming, but I do see water here. So, all right. So it could be something near water also. All right. So let's see what kind of connection this will be. What kind of connection this will be for you, Capricorn, with this person. So just reading these cards here, other than what I stated each one was for, I see two people coming together. I see like commitment right away, like this manifesting very quickly and moving very quickly too, being very passionate also. I see love and passion like boom, right away. So let's see, what kind of connection could this be for Capricorn? There it is. Treasure chest. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So this is going to be like, this person is going to be like a secret treasure. You're like, where has this person been all my life? It's like, I've gotten my dream treasure here. Wow. It's like you run into them and like the light shines and you're like, oh, oh my God, who is this person? Wow. Okay. So let's see what your advice is, Capricorn. What is your advice, Capricorn? What is your advice with this connection, Capricorn? All the readings so far for the singles have been very positive. So, and I take the readings how they come. I don't intentionally make them all positive. So... All right, Capricorn, what's your advice? Shine your light. <laughs> That's the motto of my channel. Shine your light. So be yourself. Be true to who you are. If you like to go in the park and swing on a swing or do whatever you want to do and there's people around and you're like, eh, I don't know. And maybe you see this good looking guy and you're like, oh my God, he's going to think I'm crazy. I'm like, no, do you because look at this because you see shine your light and look at the light coming out of that treasure chest. 
So I also feel like they're going to see you being you, having fun, swinging on the swing, or whatever you're doing here, and they're just going to be like, oh my God, who is that? You're going to draw them to you like, you know, moth to a flame. And you see this woman here has like butterfly wings. So I think they're just going to be drawn to you and they're just going to like that you are who you are. They're going to see that if you're a fun, loving, bubbly kind of person and you're a child at heart, this is telling you just to be true to who you are, be who, who you are, do what you want to do, and you're going to draw this person to you even more. Wow. All right, Capricorn. So let's get some tarot on this. Let's get some tarot on this for Capricorn. Capricorn. That's just amazes me how shine your light came out and look at the light shining out of this treasure chest. Wow. Can't make it up. Okay, so Capricorn. Let's get some tarot on this for Capricorn. I do ask Capricorn if you're new um, or re even returning uh, and you like my style, how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. Hit the bell. You'll be notified. I do four readings a month, all different, so you don't miss out on that. I do bonus readings for all signs. Um, you can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported the channel um, in any way. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. And I really appreciate any kind of support you give the channel. All right. So let's get, let's see, we got five. Let's get a couple more. All right. Let's get more information on this Capricorn. Let's see. So we've got the Five of Cups energy. So this is sadness, loss, hurt, loneliness energy. It could be that, you know, maybe this person's been lonely for a while here. Because it's right under their energy of the someone who is very, they may be clingy. Um, I'm getting an energy like they... They have like a good energy, but I get an energy of like they really like fall in love, may fall in love very, very quickly and get attached very quickly also. So maybe they don't like being alone with this Five of Cups energy because you see sad over these cups, but then there's two cups still, you know, full there. So I don't know. Let's see where this is going. Let's get a few more. The Queen of Swords. So this is seeing with truth, clarity, um, kind of energy. And I always take the Queen of Swords as like divine energy, like the divine shedding light, like shine your light here in the treasure chest, you know, shining light onto a situation, you know, and you know, the swords is all about mental clarity, truth, uh, honest communication. So let's see where it's just going. And you can use that sword to cut away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself. Eight of Pentacles. So this is, you know, working, working on it, putting in the dedicated effort, committing to it and really working hard. Okay. I just want to get the energy of all. So here's success and victory and here's the offer. And I did say, I feel like they may want to commit very, very quickly. Uh, they may want to work on this. You know, the Pentacles is a slow moving energy. It's slow building for the future. So... You may have to be clear to them, like, okay, yes, I like you. I'm attracted to you. I feel the connection here. But if they want to move this along very quickly, because we have all this energy here um, of moving quickly. I feel moving very quickly. And they may just either may not want to be alone, or maybe they, they just uh, like the connection, having a connection with somebody. And you may have to kind of put the sword up and say, well, you know, let's take this very slow baby steps, you know, and I do see success and victory here in the offer. So you may accept the offer, but you may say very slowly, I don't want to rush this, or you may need to tell them that, be upfront with them. But see, and I think things will be fine here, going in a better direction, you know, moving forward in a better direction, a more peaceful, harmonious place. So we have two sixes here. Sixes are always, to me, about balance, harmony, um, healing energy. So two sixes here. So definitely going in a much better place. The Wheel of Fortune. So fate, fate, and there's a Sagittarius energy here. 
So fate, destiny, divine timing, things again going in a better direction. So this could be something fated meant to be here with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is always something that's fated. It's divine timing, divine fate, divine destiny. Uh, things go getting better, going in the right direction. The Six of Swords going in the right direction. The Six of Wands, success, victory, and offer here. What else? So the Two of Pentacles. So a little juggling here. Uh, maybe confusion, trying to decide. Um, you know, maybe, you know, a lot of emotions here with that rocky water in the background. But you got the infinity symbol there. So, I mean, you could have had past lives with this uh, person. But this is about making decisions and balancing things out. So, I don't know, I feel like we need one more. Why is the... Because I have all good energy here. But you just may need to be upfront and honest with them. If you feel it's moving too fast and you want it to... Um, go in a slower direction, then you may, may need to tell them that. Yeah, so here's the Page of Cups. So that's, you know, the offer of love there. Offer of love, emotions, feelings, uh, loving communication. Sometimes it's an apology, but I'm not getting um, apology here. I'm getting love. There is going to be, I think, emotions shared here. But... Uh, I think, again, with the two with juggling around, like they want it to move quick and you want to take a more slower, practical approach. So I think you're just going to have to meet in the middle, um, try to balance this out because that's what the two of pentacles energy is, is balancing all this out in a loving, compassionate energy with the page of cups, with that truthful communication. So let's see. So the fool. So yeah, <laughs> taking a leap of faith here. So I definitely think be taking a brand new start, leap of faith here again with the king and queen of swords so we have divine karma parts here we have a matching couple so definitely could be soulmate energy here king queen male female same sex doesn't matter but soulmate energy here with the uh king and queen of swords and brand new beginning in love wow this is nice divinely guided coming in with the wheel of fortune brand new beginning in love and i feel like emotions are overflowing we have that two of cups coming out right away divinely guided here again the king of swords and the queen of swords both needing to be upfront honest and truthful about how you want this to proceed how fast how slow you want this to progress uh and making all that all those plans and decisions about this but i do see taking a leap of faith here and jumping right in so and you got the sun back there for everything positive Success, victory, happiness, and joy. Everything positive with the sun as with shine your light here. So I feel like the sun will be shining down here on this new adventure with this person. Wow, Capricorn. <laughs> That's nice. So uh, this spring, if you're out walking, going to a park, um, doing some sort of, sort of springtime activity, you could be just working in your yard. I mean, whatever you're doing here, pay attention to uh, the people you meet, the people around you. There's a hidden treasure somewhere in there that you need to pay attention to because I think this is your person, your soulmate. Wow, Capricorn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, as with the sun energy right here, so always, always shine your light.